When recreational marijuana became legal, Detroit Mayor Mike Duggan and other city leaders said they were going to make take time to come up with a plan to make sure you wouldn't see marijuana shops all over the city. And today we got our first look at how that could work thanks to a plan put forward by City Councilman James Tate and Mayor Duggan. Victor Williams live with us now and Victor, uh, the key part of this plan is to make sure Detroiters own these businesses, right? Yes, Devin, that's the case. And we know that this is a multi-million dollar industry. And that's the reason why the mayor wants Detroiters in on the profits with some of the Detroiters having priority. But some are not too happy with the way the rules are as of right now. What you're seeing today is the introduction of a major piece of legislation. It's the long-awaited announcement of a new amendment to city code allowing adult marijuana licensing in Detroit. From a 50% of all the new recreational marijuana licenses in the city. Detroiters are going to get our fair share. Mayor Duggan along with Councilman James Tate introduced a new ordinance at a press conference Monday afternoon. The plan includes a social equity program focused on inclusion and opportunity. And ensures that residents of Detroit, which has been, which has been disproportionately impacted by the war of drugs, has a fair chance at opportunities that the cannabis industry has to offer. This will be a way to give those negatively affected by illegal marijuana sales in the past the chance to make a profit off the industry the legal way, and this goes especially for minority applicants. But Cannabis Legal Group Principal Attorney Barton Morris says there's a group that deserves the same opportunities. There's been 75 dispensaries, medical dispensaries in the city of Detroit that have also been waiting and hoping that they would be given the first opportunity for a recreational um, retail license. He's hoping the plan can be changed in the future. In the meantime, the mayor is standing behind the proposal. Uh, and I think you're going to be impressed that while this is the beginning of the process, this is the introduction, city council in the course of this may amend this proposal. Now, under this new proposal, there are going to be 10 types of licenses available, with half of them having first priority to legacy Detroiters, and those are Detroiters who have been living here for quite some time. Folks will be able to apply starting next year. Reporting live tonight, Victor Williams, Local 4. Coming around. All right, Victor.